Oxide defecation syndrome is the inability to have a proper satisfying defecation. Can be due to different causes. One of these ones is definitely the pelvic floor dysynergia, which is the incoordination between the abdominal, pelvic floor, and rectal muscles. So instead of relaxing, these muscles are contracting or relaxing to less than 20%. Regarding the diagnosis, it's very important to take a detailed clinical history, to do a digital rectal examination, anoscopy, rectoscopy, colonoscopy, and rectal manometry, of course, difficult MRI, and chronic transit study. Chronic transit study is a very simple a series of x-ray, which can be done with the patient ingesting uh, six marks, and it's actually highlighting if the patient is having a delayed transit, which is definitely something can be ruled out before doing the surgery. Defical MRI is a beautiful dynamic um, exam, which allows us to evaluate dynamically the anterior, the middle, and the posterior compartment as well at the same time. Medical therapy is really uh, a landmark. A proper diet with a dietitian, healthy lifestyle, medical therapy for constipation and slow transit is very important, together with biofeedback and pelvic floor rehabilitation, and they have a success rate up to 70 to 75%. Surgical therapy varies from the abdominal approach to the perineal approach. Abdominal approach can be lapentorectopexy, POPs, or other techniques. Perineal approach can be STAR, DELORM, Altemeyer, or many other techniques. But what is very, very important to highlight is that we don't know yet what is the best technique. Basically, there is no one-fits-all, but it's very important to do a tailored surgery to the needings of the patient. Three key points are very, very important to restore normal anatomy, to correct associated function abnormalities, and to avoid recurrence, of course. So concluding, it's very, very important to highlight that ODS is an underestimating and complex spectrum of disorder, and it's very important to do a multidisciplinary approach for this disease. Medical and physical therapy are very effective, up to 70-75% of patients. Surgery is the correct option after failure of conservative treatment.